Okay, so this is part six of the tutorial, the platform game using the robot boy. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to um, keep track of the health. So we're going to keep track to see how many hearts we have. Uh, we're going to be using some code for this, and this is the first time we've used code um, for our platform game. So here we go. So same as before, as we did with the animations and the scenes and the images, we're going to store them inside a folder just to keep things tidy. So let's create the folder. So create folder. We're going to call the folder script. Okay, so access the folder, so double click, right click, create, create C sharp script. We're going to call our script health manager because it's going to look after our health in the game. So we've got our script then. So let's open it up. So double click to open it up in mono develop what you might find is that when you open it up it might open up in visual studio depending on which version of unity you have right so let's let's sort out the the curly brackets to begin with because as you may already be aware i like to make sure that my curly brackets are lined up so let's do that first of all so just make sure they're all lined up same as what i'm doing save the script go back into unity and you'll see that all the brackets are as they should be okay back into mono develop then or your editor depending on which version you've got and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to create a global um, game array game object array and this is going to be used to store all of our hearts so what we need to do is we need to make a bit of space public um, it's going to be game object so it's going to be an array so we need to use square brackets and we're going to call our array hearts so this is going to be used to keep track of how many hearts we've actually got in the game at any moment in time we're also going to add a global private variable which is going to be an integer so private int we're going to call it health okay so this so this variable is going to be used to track how many hearts we've actually got so the the array contains the hearts the health variable is going to tell us how many we've got right another thing we need to do as well is in the start we need to link the the, the hearts to the health so what we're going to say is we're going to say health equals hearts Dot link. So this will measure to see how many hearts we've got in our hearts array and then store it as a number. But what I want to do as well, just to make sure that everything's working and so you can see something happening, I want to add an extra line where it's going to show how much health we've got in the console window. So that's just a, ca a case of print the health. I finally spelled it right. Okay, so there we go. So that's all the code we're going to look at for this part of the tutorial. So if we save it, go back to Unity, make sure that it updates, and it has. Hopefully we haven't got any errors. We haven't. So let's play the game. Okay, first of all, I want to click Maximize on Play so we can see, we can access the console window. So let's just change that. Press Play. Okay, ah, nothing's working yet. What we need to do is we need to link our script. Now we're going to link our script to the robot boy. So you just need to drag and drop the script onto character robot boy. And then if we look at character robot boy in the inspector, if we scroll down, we'll see that we've got a section now for the hearts. So this is our hearts array. So currently it's zero. So if we play, press play now, you'll see in the console it's displaying zero now this is because we haven't actually linked our hearts from the scene into the code yet we're going to do that next okay so right so what we need to do then in order to do this is press play again to stop the game um, make sure that we can see the hearts in the inspector and let's lock the inspector as well so it keeps this robot boy game object active what we need is we need to get the hearts from our health panel 
select all three, drag and drop them onto the harps array at the bottom of the inspector window. So you'll notice that the size is increased to three. And what it's actually containing is it's containing the three heart objects. So let's unlock the inspector as well so we don't forget about that later on. So unlock that. And then if we play the game now, you'll see that in the console, our script knows that we've got three hearts. So that's everything linked up as it should be. So let's press play again. That's the end of this part of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll get it working. So every time the robot boy hits the saw, it's going to take away one of the hearts, take away one of the lives. And when all the lives are gone, when all the hearts are gone, it's going to restart the game in the same way as whenever you hit a kill zone. So I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.